Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We're doing something a little bit different today. So I've got you set up pretty far away because I'm tall and my bookshelves are tall, but today we're going to do a game. We're gonna do the do I have that book challenge. So I haven't looked at the questions yet. I haven't pulled up on my phone. We're gonna go through my shelves and see if I can find the book based on this prompt. Uh, yeah, so these are not actually all the books I have, so I'm only gonna use these though because I'm not gonna leave the room, you're gonna watch what I do. So here we go. All right, first question is, do you have a book with deckled edges? I'm pretty sure I do. Let's see. Deckled edges, where, what, I, I swear I have a deckled edges book, don't I? I think, maybe, where is it? Uh, I have to have one somewhere. Guess not, that's a no, next question. <laughs> Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oi. People on the cover. <gasps> Let's see. Three or more people on the cover. Hmm. Romance usually only has two. Three or more people on the cover. Man, this is hard. Three or more people on the cover. Hmm. So far, I'm not doing so great at this challenge. <laughs> three what even is a book with three people on the cover like do i even have anything like that i don't think so oh my heck i would settle for three faces okay i found one i'm really really bad <laughs> this book a wizard for wizard for hire magic required wizard Girl, boy, three people, I got one. Okay, the next question is, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Yes, I do. Let's see. Do I have a book based on another fictional story? Ah, right here. When Beauty Tamed the Beast, Beauty and the Beast retelling. I could have picked so many because I love retellings. Okay, got two, two for, th two out of three, not bad. Okay, question number four. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? That's very specific. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is challenging. This is surprisingly difficult. Oh my gosh, you guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one had nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, I got one. I found one. The Sea King has 10 letters. So that is three out of four. Okay, not so bad now. Number five is, do you have a book that starts and ends with the same letter? Holy vey. This is a challenge. Aha! Infamy by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Question number six, do you have a mass market paperback? Yeah, I have a lot because I like them. That was easy. Question number seven, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Yes, I absolutely do, but we must find it. Don't mind me, I have stacks back here too. I just saw it the other day, I promise it's here. Mm -hmm. That's not it. <gasps> there it is. Amanda Quick. I think this is, I think her pen name is Jane N. Krantz or something like that, right? Anyway, this is a pen name, I'm pretty sure. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Ooh, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? I think so, right? Yes, I see it. Oh shoot, I can't use those books. <laughs> I have books back there too. 
Oh, with a name in the title. Okay, let's see. This one, perfect. Take a hint, Danny Brown. I don't remember what one we're on. <laughs> Question number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? Hmm, let's see, let's look at the fantasy ones. Special editions should have... Ha! Ha ha! I found it! So, this is my special edition for Six of Crows because it's my baby and I love it so much. And here is the map on the front. And the map on the back. And they're different, see? So it counts! Okay, the next one is, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Yes, easy peasy. Six of Crows would count, but I am going with The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. It's not finished yet, but they're making a Netflix show of it. Question number 11. Do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else? I'm almost positive I do not. <laughs> I don't like books written by famous people. I just don't like them. So I think, I think that's, I think that's a no. I'm pretty sure that's a no. Yeah, we're going to say that's a no. So far we don't have two. So that is question number, that's question number 11. So, so far I have a nine out of 11, which isn't bad. The next question is, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Oh, clock. Aha! No, not that one. These wizard books. Nope. Okay, 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 this one. Yes! I win! Echoes of Time by Callie Reed. I adore this series. It's super, super good. Time traveling romance is so good. I actually haven't written this last one because I'm afraid of how it's gonna end, but I love the first two. Okay, and question 13, do you have a poetry book? I do, but it's not on these shelves, so I have one poetry book. <laughs> so that's a miss, darn it. Number 14, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? I'm pretty sure I do, let's see. Let's see. Ha, easy, the hate you give. Absolutely amazing. Favorite. One of my favorites of all time. And the next one. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? I doubt it. My initials are CC. That I will check. Uh, do I? Do I? Do I? I don't even see anybody. Oh! Oh my heck. I actually do. <laughs> Roar by Cora Carmack. I still haven't read this yet, but I have read her new adult stuff, so I should read this. Has anybody read this? If you've read this, let me know if it's worth it. I can't believe I found that. CC, that's pretty cool. And the next question is, do you have a book of short stories? Yes. <gasps> where? I know I do. I know I do, but where are they? I don't know where they are. I know I have them. Where are they? Okay, here we go. <sighs> I have this one. The Tales of Beetle the Bard. It counts. Alright, the next question is, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages? That's very specific. Absolutely, I do. Let's see. Okay, this one's a big book. Basically anything... Oh no, that's too long. Not long enough. Not long enough. And this one. Obviously I'm looking through all of Sarah J. Mass books. Those are not long enough. I'm getting sad. 500 pages. This is kind of a big one. Let's see. Fountains of Silence. Oh, this could be close. 497! This is a very hard one. I want to get this one. I know I have to have one. Come on, I need a 500 page book. Exactly. Okay, what about this one? This one might be it, guys. <gasps> Skyward by Brandon Sanderson has 510 pages exactly, not including the acknowledgements, which we're not going to include because that's not really part of the book. So, yay! Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Hmm. Do I have a book that was turned into a movie? Yes. 
I'm picking this one, Watership Down. This is the illustrated version. I love this book. It's very, very good. Uh, yeah, this was made into a very creepy cartoon, which should never, ever, ever be allowed for kids. The Netflix show is not a movie, but the cartoon, the OG one in the 70s, was <gasps> creepy. But the Netflix one is good. Watership Down. Do you have a graphic novel? I do, but it's not on these shelves. It's over on that shelf, and I said I wouldn't use those. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna pass on that one. And the last question is, do you have a book written by two or more authors? And I already picked one by two or more authors, so let's see if I can find a different one. The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This is a duo of two authors, in case you didn't know. You probably did, because I think everybody knows that, but if you didn't, there you go. All right, that's the do I have this book tag. I think there were only three or four that I didn't get right, so this video is probably gonna be way long, but that was a fun game. Let me know if you liked that and if you wanna see me do this again with a different set of questions. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time.